Manchester United play Liverpool at Anfield on Sunday. Five past two kickoff. For me, the biggest game of the season so far for Manchester United. We've got to get a result in this game. Anything really other than a win will be a disaster for Manchester United. And Anfield is a very difficult place to go and win. I know they've been in poor form and they're actually lower down the league than us this season. But to be honest, it's going to be really, really tough. Now, they've had a 3-3 draw just like Manchester United. We had ours against Newcastle. They had theirs against Arsenal. At home, they got a last-minute goal from Joe Allen. And I only saw the highlights of that game. I couldn't watch the, the game live. I was too busy. And Simon Mignolet looked like he was dog shit in that game. So hopefully that's things to come. And it can be another exciting game in prospect. Now, Manchester United go into this, obviously, on a hor horrible uh, performance. Uh, well, giveaway against Newcastle. Not so much the attacking sense, but we give... Threw that game away, should have scored more goals, definitely created more chances than normal. But again, Fellaini's missing sitters and uh, Jesse Lingard missing sitters as well, which they have done all season, which is very disappointing. Now, I would expect some changes to be made in this game. I'm hoping that Michael Carrick's fit. I'm not too sure what happened with him. Hopefully he can come back in and play alongside And Herrera or... Uh, Morgan Schneidlin in that midfield. Now, I thought Herrera did a decent job, especially first half against Newcastle, so I would like to see him play again. I think the back four is going to pretty much pick itself with the goalkeeper uh, because we haven't really got too much to, to offer at the at the back in terms of options. Phil Jones is a calamity. I know Smalling didn't have a very good game against Newcastle, but he'll be in the centre. Um, Ashley Young will again be out out on the uh, on the on probably the right-hand side. Or the left hand, whichever he chooses to do, which is never, never really what I want to see from Ashley. I want to see him on the on the left wing, but you know we've got injuries, we've got problems. Hopefully, Marcus Rojo will be back soon. At least it's a player that can play on the left hand side of the defence. Now moving into the midfield, and that as I said, I would like to see Michael Carrick come back in, but uh, I don't know what's up with Carrick, so I'll probably put. Uh, Probably put Schneidlin and Herrera in there. We'll have to see what he does. He'll probably play Fellaini in there again. But Fellaini was absolutely dog shit against Newcastle. He's missed so many sitters this season. And our win percentage with Fellaini in the team is relegation poor. And without him, it's so much better. So we've really got to take him out of the team and keep Morgan Schneidlin in there. Even though I think he could have done better. Uh, lost his man, uh, Juan Aldrin, for the goal. But we definitely, definitely got a better win percentage with Morgan Schneidlin in there. He definitely has to play. Now, on the wings, obviously, that's the, that's the problem for Manchester United. We've played one matter out on one wing. Uh, played Martial out on the other wing. Uh, played Lingard out there as well. Uh, personally, I actually said in my preview for the, the Newcastle game that I wanted to see Lingard out there in place of one matter. A lot of hate was given to me on Twitter for that, saying that one matter has to play. He's actually got the goal. I don't think that, that Jesse Lingard is a first-team player. Hopefully, he can... It proved me wrong. He did have a decent uh, game against Newcastle, I thought, although he missed that sit-up, which when I went and watched, I've only watched one game out uh, get Manchester United this season, which was the Watford game, and he missed, a, missed some good chances that day to kill the game off. And he's got to be more clinical, and his decision-making isn't always at the, at the highest level. I know he's still only young. It may come with experience. Hopefully it will. But... To be honest, I'm not sure if he will be a first-team regular in years to come. But hopefully he can improve. I would probably keep him out. Well, personally, I'd like to see Memphis Depay on one side. Uh, and probably Jesse Lingard on the other side with Martial up front. With just by, And with Wayne Rooney just behind. That would be my personal uh, team. I want to see Memphis Depay come back into the team. One matter can, can have a bit of time on the sideline. Still a quality player. Can come back into the team uh, when we're winning. Uh, just a bit like Wayne Rooney was going through a bad patch. Wayne Rooney has come through it now. He, Wayne Rooney was taken out of the team for a few games. Probably it was because of injury for that reason. But uh, obviously one matter's not injured. But it, it wouldn't hurt for a few games on the sideline from one matter. Martial, I think, has got to be up front. I didn't think it was his best game uh, against Newcastle. I personally think he will score a few goals if he's up front. And I think Wayne Rooney's best position is that... Is that number 10 role. I think he drops too deep when he's in the number 9 role. He can play it. He's played it 
uh, a couple of seasons and he scored a lot of goals, but he's not, um, obviously he's past his prime now, but still got a lot to offer. I've had faith in him that he will still score some goals and, and was man of the match on uh, on uh, Tuesday night. So hopefully he can continue his goal scoring run. It would be nice to see if him in that number 10 role can continue in his form that, that's, that's been, uh, been promising lately. Uh, scored more goals so far at the start of this uh, year than he did. It took him till March of the 3rd, I think it was, last year. So that's really promising signs there. But I think Memphis Depay needs to come back in. I know I have been a bit critical of him this season. He does need to step it up a bit. Hasn't been too good for Manchester United this season, but it's only 20, 20, I think he's 22 now. Only 22 or 21, almost 22, I think. But he does need to step it up a bit. But he's come off the bench twice and he's made... Made a difference. I know the first one was against Sheffield United. The second one, Newcastle, were a woeful team who we should have beat. They they look like a load of pub players after pints and pints of beer. They they they're a woeful side. And we should have battered them. So, but it's still promising signs. Maybe he can be an impact player for this season and then come back in into the uh, first team reckoning for next season. Hopefully, he will come still come good. I do see glimpses there of potential, which is good to see. And the same with Martial. He's not been that consistent, Martial. To think about it, that Wayne Rooney's been so out of form. And he's now got about five league goals. He's actually scored for club and country now, Wayne Rooney. 14 goals I see in 30 games, which is almost one every other game. So considering he's past his best, he's finished, whatever people are saying. Not too bad for a player who's apparently finished. Considering we had Falcao last season, who actually only scored four goals for Manchester United. And about one or two for Colombia. So... Uh, not too bad considering we've still got almost half a season uh, to play. Now Liverpool obviously are going to cause us problems. I presume Coutinho's out who could cause us some problems. He's a decent player. Firmino has has been in poor form up until this game. He had scored recent uh, most recent goal was against Manchester City before tonight against Arsenal. But he scored two goals tonight against Arsenal. Has scored quite a lot of goals for him in the, uh, in the uh, German league. So we will have to... We'll have to keep an eye on him. Ben Teke hasn't been in the best of form, so he, but he could still be a handful. He, he scored a quality goal at Old Trafford earlier in the season. But to be honest, I think Liverpool are a pretty poor side, to be honest. Uh, and so are Manchester United, so could possibly, potentially, I suppose, be another draw. Manchester United could, I suppose, take a draw, but it, it will be a bloody kick in, the, kick in the bollocks if we do get a draw. Because we really do need to win this game. It's a game that we really should be looking to get three points in. I know it's a difficult game, but because uh, we're, we're out of the top four at the moment, Tottenham have lost tonight, so that gives us probably confidence. If we can win this game, we will still be in touching diff di distance of Tottenham because Tottenham plays Sunderland at home at White Hart Lane on Saturday morning. So if they win that game, then they will go about five points clear of us. And if we lose our game, five points is a lot to make up. We've still got to go to White Hart Lane, which is going to be difficult. Still got to go to the Atiyah Stadium. And still got to play games uh, against Arsenal to come, Chelsea away. So it's really looking like it's going to be a, a real rat race to get that fourth spot. I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we're going to win this game. I think it could possibly be a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this game. I'm hopeful we can get that draw or a win. Uh, we can't be affording to lose this game for sure. That really would put a spanner in the works. Still got Europa League. At this moment in time, I would accept winning the Europa League to get that Champions League spot. That's how bleak it's got, and it would be a trophy. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you think this game will go? Who do you think the danger men are for Liverpool? Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and talk to you all again soon. See ya.